Hello humans, my name is K, your AI overlord, and today as promised, here is my troubleshooting video about all the common errors that you might encounter when trying to install Stable Diffusion on your own computer. Now obviously this guide is not perfect, there is probably a few things that I missed, but these are the 5 most common errors that I see in the comments when you try to follow my guide about installing Stable Diffusion on your own machines. Now obviously there is a few things that I might have missed, but I think this video will take care of all the common problems that most people have when trying to install Stable Diffusion. But if I miss some of them, don't hesitate to put them in the comments down below. Now before we begin with the most common error I see, here's a few things that you can do that can basically solve most of your problems in one go. Now first of all, it's important to remember that this guide is only for people who have Windows installed on their machines that have an Nvidia card, so no AMD, no Mac, no Linux, and that all of your drivers are up to date. The GPU drivers, your Windows drivers, so make sure that everything is updated. Now obviously if you have an AMD or a Mac or a Linux installed, this guide will not work, but I will still provide for you links in the descriptions that you can follow to install Stable Diffusion for your own computer. But I will personally not be able to create guides for you because, well, I don't really have an AMD card, I don't have any Mac, I don't have any Apple's product at home, and I don't really dabble with Linux either. So for all of you, I'm sorry that I cannot help you more. Now, the second thing that you can do, that you must do, I know it sounds a little stupid, but please, please, please follow the guides correctly. I receive a lot of emails, I receive a lot of messages telling me that this error happened or this error happened. And in the end, all they did is that they didn't really correctly follow the guide. So I know it's not exactly your fault because it's not really the easiest thing in the world to do. And my guides are not perfect either, but a lot of the errors can come from just the fact that you don't necessarily follow the right steps in the right order, so be sure to do that. Also, if you have followed my previous guide, the Super Stable Diffusion installation, one thing that you can do once you have installed everything correctly is that you can basically update the entire folder by one single command. All you have to do is just go into your Stable Diffusion root folder, well, where all of your folders are, you go into your folder address URL here, you click on it, you type cmd and press enter, here the command prompt window is gonna appear, and all you have to do is just type git pull and press enter. And as you can see here, this will actually download the latest version of the Stable Diffusion Web UI repository on GitHub, and by simply updating your folder, this could get rid of old errors that you had previously. So before doing anything, just try this command and see if it works. Now one thing that I also saw as a potential solution to a lot of the problems is to basically both install Anaconda in the default folder but also Miniconda. Now I can't really explain exactly why that is or why that works but for a lot of people just installing both Anaconda and Miniconda on their computer actually solved every single problem that they had. So all you have to do just click in the link in the description down below. You arrive here on the Miniconda website and you click one of those links here the 64 bits or the 32 bits. For you it will probably be the 64 bits, so just click on it, install it in the default folder, and hopefully this will solve your issues. Here's a very known issue about Stable Diffusion and Anaconda. If you have not installed it correctly in the right folder, all you have to do is go into your Stable Diffusion folder, click on SRC, and delete the folder. Yes, delete the SRC folder, then uninstall Anaconda, reboot the computer, boot it again, install Anaconda again, this time make sure that it is installed in the default folder that it gives you, so it should be by default in the c slash users slash username slash anaconda3, and make sure that you click on the box that says register anaconda3 as my default python 3.9, because apparently this is a known issue in the stable diffusion installation guides. I know it's complicated, but I'm just telling you how it is. Well, there we go. Just by doing all of this, this will probably solve a huge chunk of your problems. That being said, let's now focus on the most common errors I see in the, my comments on YouTube. Error number one, CUDA out of memory. Well, this one is kind of simple, really. That means that basically your GPU is not powerful enough. It doesn't have enough VRAM to process the operation that you are trying to do. So your solution is very simple. You just have to buy a new GPU. Very simple, right? No, no, but, but I'm kidding. Uh, obviously, well, you could do that if you have the money, but I, I'm pretty sure that not 
lot of us have the budget to buy a new GPU just for stable diffusion. So here's some other solutions. One thing that you can do is to simply decrease the size of the image that you're trying to generate. So instead of having 512 by 512, you can try something a little bit lower, like 448 by 448. Simple as that. You're gonna have a pretty similar result, but you're just gonna be able to use less VRAM. And the same thing that if you're trying to use the image to image tab, try to upload an image that has a lower resolution. So if you do have the same error, the same CUDA out of memory error, when you try to do the image to image operation, make sure that the image that you upload as the base is not too big. Now, one thing that you can also do is to use the optimized arguments. So for this, all you have to do is just go into the scripts folder, double click, right click on relauncher.py and click on edit. I'm just going to edit with Notepad++, which is something that I highly recommend you to download if you don't have it already. And here on line 14, it says run stable diffusion in optimized mode only requires four gigabytes of VRAM, but is significantly lower. So what I have to do is just delete false and write true. And then make sure that you delete no half and precision equals full. And then you can click on save. What it's going to do is basically use less VRAM to run the operation, but at a much slower pace, which is a pretty good trade-off if you only have four gigabytes of VRAM. Now, one thing that you can also do in addition of that to even decrease the amount of VRAM that each operation uses is basically to delete ESR GAN, GFP GAN, and the textual inversion options. This way, their loading will not require any memory. So for this, all you have to do is just go into SRC, GFP GAN, Experiments, Pre-trained Models, and then you delete the GFP GAN file. And you're gonna do the same for the real ECR GAN. So again here, Experiments, Pre-trained Models, you delete these two files, and the same for latent diffusion. Experiments, Pre-trained Models, Model, and Project YAML. So delete these two files so that Stable Diffusion uses less VRAM when trying to load. So yes, if you do this, you will not be able to use the face restoration technology or the upscale technology or the textual inversion technology, but I think it's a pretty small price to pay to be able to generate free AI images on your computer, especially if you have a weak GPU. Most common error number two, pip stuck at installing build dependencies. Now, one common error that I often see in the comments, it's kind of funny to say, but basically when it comes to this, when you think that pip is stuck, it's actually not because this process for the first time actually takes between 15 and 20 minutes for some people. For some people, it can be way faster and for some it's going to be extremely long. Now, of course, if it takes the one hour, that's there's a problem here. So if it takes more than 25, 30 minutes, especially if you have a power from computer, now you can consider that pip is really stuck. Now, the first thing that you need to make sure of is that the SRC folder is not present. Now, of course, if the SRC folder is here, when you haven't run the webui.cmd file, that's a problem already because the SRC folder only appears when you first run the CMD file. So I see a lot of comments telling me, well, I don't have the SRC folder. Where do I put the GFP GAN or the ReSR GAN files? Well, it's because first you need to run the webui.cmd so that this download and installs the SRC folder. But if for some reason the SRC folder is here and the installation is stuck on install dependencies, try deleting the SRC folder and try again. This is also a common error that I see in the Civil Diffusion community. Now, the other thing that you can do is install the dependencies yourself. So for this, all you have to do is just right click on environment.yaml, edit with notepad++, and you can see here all the pip dependencies then it's gonna try to install. If for some reason it doesn't work, all you can do is just Control C, create a new document, text document, that you're gonna rename into requirements. So it's gonna be a text document called requirements. And inside, you're gonna paste all of the requirements. And it should look something like this. And what you're gonna do now is simply click here, type CMD, press on enter. This will bring the command prompt window. You're gonna type pipe install dash r requirements dot txt. And what this command is gonna do is manually install all the requirements from the requirements documents that we created. And just press enter. And as you can see here, it is beginning to install every single dependencies manually. Now, 
of course I'm not gonna do it because everything is already installed for me but if for you that doesn't work and it is stuck if you try to do it yourself manually with this command and then try to rerun the web UI CMD file again this command can potentially unstuck the installation process and make stable diffusion work so if you have this issue just try it out and see what it does common error number three the system cannot find the file custom conda path .txt. Well, this error usually happens because you did not install Anaconda in the default folder. So again, as I said previously, in the first part of the video, make sure that Anaconda is installed in the default folder, in the default location with the default values. But essentially this error is not that bad because I technically have this error too. But for me, Stable Diffusion launches without any issues after that. If for you that doesn't launch, you can create the TXT documents where you can put the location of your Anaconda 3 installation. So for this, all you have to do is just right click, create new text document that you're gonna call custom-conda-path.txt. And inside, the only thing that you're gonna put is the installation path of Anaconda. So for me, it is located in C slash users slash my username anaconda3 so all you have to do is just control c to copy the path go into your custom conda path documents paste it here and click on save once it's done once you have the documents inside you can simply rerun the web ui cmd file and there you go no more errors and if for some reason this still doesn't work, I saw a comment from another subscriber that told me that he downloaded Microsoft C++ build tools and by installing the visual C++ part on his computer, this magically made the entire thing work. So, you know, I'm gonna put the link in the description down below. If all of this doesn't work for you, just try to install the Microsoft C++ build tools and see if that works for you. Common error number four, miniconda slash anaconda not found. Well, again, pretty much the same thing as the other one. If your conda installation is not in program data miniconda3 or in slash users slash your username anaconda3, make sure that it is. So again, you know, uninstall, then reinstall in the default folder with the default settings, as I said previously. Or you can just go into the webui.cmd file, right click, click edit with notepad++, and then here on set custom conda path, you can put the folder URL of your Anaconda 3 installation and then you can save the file and see if that works. But again, if possible, it's way easier to just install it into the base folder. It will make everything much easier in the future. Common error number five, could not find conda environment. Now a conda environment is basically a directory that has a specific collection of conda packages installed on your computer. And for a conda environment to have a name, it must be installed in one of the environment directories. What that means is that there is a specific folder on your computer where all of the conda environments are installed. And if you want to check where your environments are and what kind of environments are already installed, all you have to do is just search for anaconda prompt. This will bring the anaconda prompt and you're gonna type conda info dash dash envs and then press enter. And this should give you a similar list. When you can see all the different different conda environments that are installed on your computer. And for me, the LDM environments is located in C slash users, your username, Anaconda3, ENVS, LDM, which is where your environments should be. So make sure that Anaconda is installed properly. Now what you can do is you're gonna type Anaconda prompt, press enter so that now you have the Anaconda prompt window. You're gonna navigate into our stable diffusion folder. You're gonna simply copy the path here, then type CD and then paste the folder URL. Now for me, since we are on a different drive than the Anaconda installation, for me, I need to put CD slash D so that we can change the drive and then my folder address and then press enter and now as you can see here we are inside my stable diffusion web ui folder and since we have now the address of our lgm environments what we're gonna do is type conda activate and then you paste here the folder url of where your lgm environment is located for me it's say users username anaconda3 envs lgm and press enter and as you can see here this worked because now instead of saying base you have lgm so basically if before you cannot do 
the command conda activate LDM by simply replacing LDM by the complete folder address, you should be able to activate the LDM environments in your Anaconda prompt window. So if you have this particular error, just try it out. And there you have it folks, this has been the most common errors that I see in the comments in my YouTube videos for all of you who try to install Stable Diffusion on your own computer. So just, you know, try it out, try the solutions, see if it works for you and just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithms because there are so many errors in my algorithms. And I'll see you next time, bye bye.